in a world torn apart by war and intolerance. Because the so people's like whole channels are just built now, tearing each other down. So and it just again, makes me think what the platform do I want to be part of that is right. promoting, actively promoting. Mm, can't wait to report your death. <laughs> you are so manipulative. What the f you say to me, you little shit? <laughs> Kill yourself. It doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity. One voice stood out. I seek out like emotionally unstable, neurotic people, and I try to fix them. A voice that was strong. A voice that was inspiring. So what if I'm the monster? A voice that sometimes was just plain annoying. Um, Rice Gump didn't think that joke was very funny, and he hit me in the middle of a party and shattered my phone. As if it wasn't enough that she was annoying, she was a scammer. Manage your expectations a little bit. And if it wasn't enough, she was annoying and a scammer. She was a liar. I told him, be careful, Trish has herpes and you're sleeping with her. Gabby, have we slept together? And it took the death of her music career to realize sometimes strength comes to us all. I'm not gonna sit down and make a video with screenshots exposing my bully, high school fucking bully. This holiday season, go for strength, go for inspiration, go for Gabby Hanna. Coming to YouTube Red Never. Hi my snowflakes, it's been a while since we've had one of these videos and I have missed you like a shite ton. Today we're going to be nose diving into how one of the most beloved YouTube content creators became one of the most controversial internet Karens to ever spawn from Satan himself. And no, I'm not talking about me. <laughs> It's none other than Gabby Hanna. She had humble beginnings starting off her career in the widely popular nigh deceased Twitter love child known as Vine. Rest in peace, sweet guy. I love running through black neighborhoods with my shirt off. <laughs> I'm gonna steal all of your baby daddies. <laughs> <coughs> She eventually branched out to the world of YouTube in 2014, which coincidentally enough was the last time anyone could recognize at least 10 counting fingies of people in that year's YouTube Rewind. <sighs> what went wrong? Eventually Gabby Hanna went on to become infamous for her notorious Karen-esque breakdowns, which is actually what caught my attention. The number one person you should be afraid of is somebody who has nothing to lose. And you guys, took so much from me. There's something about influencers having mental breakdowns online that makes me suddenly interested in them. I'm not sure why. I think it's usually because they're upset about some completely unrelatable first world problem that makes me laugh. I like laughing at pain. I guess the best way to describe it is I'm just a Karen freakout enthusiast. So there's many traits to spot a Karen in the wild. Only a real Karen connoisseur such as myself would have the expert credentials and long life experience to spot them. Some of the more obvious ones is irritability, unreasonableness, lack of self-awareness, privilege, and most importantly, their smell. So we are going to compare and contrast personality traits and decide once and for all if Gabby Hanna really is the Karen of YouTube. But before we start, if you're new here, please remember to smash that I'm not a douchebag button and consider supporting the channel. Honestly, we like to keep the vibe chill here and the more the merrier. Also consider joining the Discord, the link's below. I'm always on there and some of us want to play Among Us, which sounds so fun, but we need more people. Okay, let's just do this. So it goes without saying, most Karen freakouts are in some way related to a Karen stealing. No, it is. This is all ours. Step back. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> well, it turns out our girl Gabby Hanna is known to be, well, a bit of a thief. Some people steal handbags, some people steal cars, some people steal televisions, but our girl Gabby steals jokes. I'm finally addressing this whole joke stealing scandal.
Now, I know what you're thinking. That's kind of a dumb one to mention, but bear in mind this is back when Gabby Hanna established herself online as a comedian. So with that in context, that's the equivalent to an influencer selling posts with fake followers. It's unfair to the brand and the audience and for sure it lacks a certain authenticity. There's been numerous times Gabby Hanna has been caught doing this from her Twitter posts to Vine videos. And well, I guess it's okay because Gabby Hanna doesn't charge her fans for her posts, right? Well, you would, um, you would be wrong. Well, you see, that's where the area of concern is for me. It's her book, and this is because her loyal fan base is paying for a product under the pretense it's going to be something new and not seen before. And well, I must be frank with you, if I purchased my idol's book and the entire content from front to back was full of terrible, unfunny Twitter meme posts that I could have got online for free, I would be hugely disappointed. To top it off on a smaller note, Gabby Hanna has a habit of falsely copyright striking videos that talk about her book in a bad light. So I guess watch this video while you can. The dictionary definition of scam is a deceptive scheme or trick used to cheat someone out of something. It can also be used as a verb meaning to cheat someone in some way with dishonest measures. With that in mind, almost all Karen freakout videos are in some way related to a Karen trying to get something that they have no right or claim to. You're gonna have to get out. Why? Because you just, just scammed me. You just cancelled the trip on me. Well, call on 911. Go ahead, I don't care. You. Gabby Hanna has been involved in what I would say is too many scams for someone supposed to be a reputable creator, if there was ever such a thing. <laughs> So Gabby Hanna has released numerous books, many of which have been called out as being a cash grab on her audience. That's because many reputable poets have come out with some sharp criticisms of the books, saying that most of the pages were blank, and the pages that weren't blank, let's just say you may have wished they were. Again, d just, <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but she could have done something more poetic, but she just didn't. She just didn't bother. That a poem doesn't have to be long or complicated but it does have to be well-crafted and it can't be lazy. I don't have any of that to unpack in Gabby's poem. It just is what it is. And it's kind of a shame. Most of the poems are about, oh, I'm sad. I like eating fast food. And whilst there are a couple that I thought were passable, I folded the pages of all of the ones that made me cringe. So there's quite a lot of problems here. Call it a cash grab if you must, but I believe it goes much further than that. You see, back in late 2018, Gabby Hanna promoted a brand called Kenza Cosmetics, which I guess the best way to describe it is it was kind of like a wish type deal they had going on. You could get these branded high street makeup brushes worth close to $100 for free. This company, Kenza Cosmetics, is giving away their makeup brushes for free from 2018 while supplies last, and I figured it's free stuff. Why wouldn't I tell you guys? All you have to pay is shipping. Here are some of the 2018 styles that they're trying to get rid of to make room for 2019. I love these ones, these marble ones. <gasps> Cute with that little fluffy brush heels. Yes. So make sure to swipe up because that is where the link is. Now, to any of her target audience of young prepubescent girls, this was a pretty sweet deal. Use the tools used by makeup legends for just a few dollars. What could go wrong? Well, everything really. I thought. $80 makeup brushes. Makeup brushes don't expire? I got 15 makeup brushes, right? They came in this weird little manila envelope. It has a value, a customs value of 90 cents. So they told customs that these brushes are valued at 90 cents. I paid $10 for shipping. I thought these were valued at $80. The brushes kind of smell painty. The brushes were not as described, mostly fake and damaged brushes that weren't even worth the delivery price. And well, gee whiz, I bet you Gabby Hanna must have felt so bad for all her young fans that wasted their money on the products. Well, no. She actually told them to... Manage your expectations. If that isn't the responsibility you'd expect a 30-year-old to be teaching kids, I don't know what is. 
It's my understanding that once you perform one bad deed, you will become more comfortable doing it again and again, especially if there's no repercussions or felt for the bad deed. It's pretty obvious to me that Gabby Hanna is becoming more comfortable taking money from her mostly young, impressionable audience. She seems to have no difficulty rationalising it in her head, which I think is when we start to approach very murky waters. If you can lie to yourself, you'll have no problem lying to others. Which actually brings me to my next topic. She's a liar. So there's no denying that most of the Karens found in the wild come wielding a wicked web of lies where they try to catch their prey. Okay, now he's hitting me. He's hitting me. He's assaulting a woman. He's you're in you're in trouble. How you're so? Going to jail. No, I'm not. Ma'am, hurry, please, hurry! Gabby Hanna has managed to capture a substantial number of victims in her web over the years. I just want to make it clear that I am in no way bending my support for any of the individuals. I think they've all done some pretty unfavorable things, but we're talking about Gabby Hanna today. Number one. Okay, who do you currently hate on YouTube the most? Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, um, easy, who do I hate people? Oh. <laughs> You're gonna give me in trouble. Hannah, it's Hannah. Gabby, Hannah yeah. Gabby told a sexual conquest of Trisha Piteous that she did in fact have genital herpes. You don't have herpes. I don't have herpes and I would like, first of all, she wouldn't know. I never was her friend. Fair enough if this was in fact true, but it was clearly evident that this is information Gabby Hannah would never have had access to. And I believe it was revenge as Gabby Hannah believed Trisha did not like her. And while you can say what you want about Trisha, doing this to anyone is a pretty low blow and especially because Gabby Hanna did it under the guise of being a good friend. I guess I just don't have any friends so maybe that's why this one went over my head. <laughs> uh. Number 2. Gabby Hanna has had the most high profile breakup with YouTube following allegations by the creator that she was being shadow banned by the platform. However, that would be fair game if it were true, but even to this day, no one has seen any actual proof of this, despite the fact that Gabby Hanna claimed numerous times to be in possession of shocking proof that was all going to be revealed. Look at that! Look at that! No way. Look at that! Look at that! Does that make any type of sense? <laughs> Here's some honorable mentions. Gabby Hanna lied about an incident between her and Ricegum where she falsely accused him of hitting her. Turns out that wasn't totally accurate. I don't know how people don't realize that Ricegum has zero credibility at this point. Gabby Hanna exploited the tragic deaths of two young girls in YouTube videos. One was accidentally and the other was in a feature video story time. Oh my god, how I do not miss those in my recommendations. Thank you very much. Gabby Hanna managed to have her own Ashley Simpson SNL moment with her smash hit. So what if I'm the monster that's been here all along? Turns out it is actually possible to blame almost anyone but yourself. So it sounded not meshed. If it was me editing it, I probably would have used all of the audio from the camera. I feel so bad my band started playing the wrong song and I know what to do so I thought I'd do a hoedown. <laughs> Gabby Hanna herself has talked about her insecurity surrounding using the platform. Normally I would say that she should just leave and it's not right for her, but honestly I don't think that is the issue. I believe that Gabby Hanna is just a very problematic person. She inserts herself in the drama just like any other Karen would and then they're upset when the consequences come back to bite them on the ass. She needs to be in control of the narrative at all times, which is why it appears like she can never take criticism and goes to great lengths to convince people of her being the good guy and, well, almost everybody else being the baddie. Are we the baddies? <laughs> My suggestion for Gabby is to seek better ways of dealing with her desire to have an exaggerated sense of self-importance and maybe instead, I don't know, go do good deeds, help in a food kitchen, maybe pay all the people back that you stole money from. I don't know, it's just a thought. Anyway guys, that is me finished for today. Please leave some comments below on potential video topics. This video was suggested by Elisa on Twitter and I just want to say thank you Elisa. And I love you guys so much. Take care, stay safe, wear a mask, and don't eat yellow snow. <laughs>
period. <laughs>